Good day everyone and welcome back to Math on Tube. I'm Teacher Ro Ann. Sa episode na to, malalaman natin kung ano-ano ba ang mga special parallelograms at ano-ano ang mga properties nito. Kung ikaw ay ready na, get your pen and your paper and let's go! Every single day I'm gone So, we're going to talk about special parallelograms. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood ang video about parallelograms and other quadrilaterals, you may click on the links in the description box. Um, let us review. Ang special parallelograms ay rhombus at rectangle. Kasama na ang square. So, ang rhombus is actually a parallelogram with four congruent sides. Ibig sabihin, yung apat na side ng paralelogram ay pare-pareho ang sukat. Ha, ang rectangle naman ay isang paralelogram with four congruent interior angles. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng angles ng rectangle ay congruent. Ang square naman ay isang rhombus na rectangle or we can say a rectangle na rhombus. Pinagsama natin ang property ng rhombus at ng rectangle at ito ang square. Meaning, lahat ng sides ay pare-parehong sukat at lahat ng interior angles ay pare-pareho ng sukat. All sides are congruent and all interior angles are congruent in a square. So let us look at the properties of a parallelogram. So, in a parallelogram, we have five properties. The first one is that the opposite sides are congruent. Tingnan natin ang parallelogram A, B, C, D. May sides ito na A, B, B, C, T, C, at A, D. So, ang A, D na side ay congruent sa B, C because they are opposite. Similarly, ang A, B ay congruent sa B, C. Halimbawa, ang measure ng AD ay 6 at ang measure ng AB ay 8. So, malalaman natin na ang BC ay also 6 because it is opposite AD and their measures are equal. Ang DC ay 8 because AB is 8, DC is also 8 by property number 1. The next property is that opposite angles are congruent. So, titingnan ulit natin ang ating um, parallelogram ABCD. Ang angle DAB is congruent to angle DCB. Similarly, ang angle ABC ay congruent sa angle ABC. So, halimbawa, ang measure ng DAB is 100. Malalaman natin that the measure of BCD is also 100 because they are congruent. The next property is that consecutive angles are supplementary. So, kanina nalaman natin that the angles, the opposite angles are congruent. Pag sinabi naman nating supplementary, um, the sum of the angles is 180. So, halimbawa, Ang measure ng DAB is 100 at alam natin na ang measure ng DCB is 100 because of um, the property number 2. Malalaman din natin yung measure ng angle ADC. Ano ba ang, ang ia-add natin sa 100 para maging 180? It's 80. So, Angle, the measure of angle ADC is 80. Dahil opposite niya ang angle ABC, we can say that the measure of ABC is also 80. Makikita natin that consecutive angles are supplementary. Just look at the angles DAB 
and ABC. 100 plus 80 is 180. They are supplementary. The next property of a parallelogram is that diagonals bisect each other. So, ano ba ang diagonals dito? Ang diagonals dito ay AC at BD. Kung titignan natin, they form an X. Ibig sabihin, they intersect at a point. Let's name that point E. Malalaman natin na diagonals bisect each other. Uh, alam natin na the diagonals, diagonals bisect each other. Ibig sabihin, nahati yung mga diagonals into two congruent segments. So, sa case ng AC, nahati siya into AE and CE, which are congruent. Sa um, diagonal naman na DB, we have DE, which is congruent to BE. So, let's see. Halimbawa, ang AE ay three, uh, 5. Okay, so ang AE, the measure of AE is 5. It follows that CE is also 5. And the whole um, diagonal AC is 10. How about pag binigay sa atin yung measure ng diagonal? Yung buong diagonal na DB. Pagpalagay natin that the measure is 12. Okay. So, DB is 12. Ano ang DE? Dahil ang DB ay nahati into two congruent parts, ang measure ng DE is 6. Similarly, ang measure ng BE is also 6. At yan ang, ang apat na property ng parallelogram. And the fifth property is that the diagonal divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. Um, i-draw ulit natin ang diagonal HC. Makikita natin that there are two triangles. And those triangles are congruent. The triangles are ADC and CDA. They are congruent. Those are the properties of a parallelogram. How about the special parallelograms? Since ang um, rhombus ay isang um, parallelogram, lahat ng limang properties ng parallelogram ay taglay din niya. With, an additional, with two additional properties. Okay. So, ang unang additional properties, property is yung kanyang definition. All sides of a rhombus are congruent. So, in this case, if MATH is a rhombus, then the sides MH, AT, HT, and MA are all congruent. Also, in a rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular. So, isulat, i-draw natin ang, ang mga diagonals. So, we have M. Um, so, for example, muna, bago tayo mag, magpunta sa diagonals, we have MH is 8. So, it follows that MA is 8, AT is 8, and HT is also 8. So, ngayon, dun tayo dumako sa pangalawang property. So, ang pangalawang property is that the diagonals are perpendicular. So, i-draw natin yung isang... Um, diagonal, which is MT. I-draw natin yung another diagonal, which, which is HA. At, pagtagpuin, at nagtagpo siya sa isang point na tawagin natin O. Pag sinabi natin perpendicular, they form the, uh, in, at the intersection, they form a right angle. So, therefore, the angle MOH is a right angle, which measures 90 degrees. That is a property of a rhombus. It contains all it, it. Tinataglay nito ang lahat ng property ng parallelogram plus two more. All sides of a rhombus are congruent and the diagonals are perpendicular. Let's move on to the properties of a rectangle. Again, 
Since a rectangle is also a parallelogram, it's a kind of a parallelogram, all the five properties of a parallelogram are the properties of a rectangle. At isa sa mga properties ng additional properties ng rectangle ay yung kanyang definition. So, nandun sa kanyang definition that all the interior angles of a rectangle are congruent. That is, all are right angles. So, in this example, the angles ECA, CAR, ARE, and CER are all right angles in the um, rectangle CARE. They are all congruent and they are all right angles. And yung pangalawa namang property is that the diagonals are congruent. Um, the diagonals are CR and EA. Itong dalawang to na CR at EA ay congruent, meaning the measures are equal. So ano naman ang properties ng square? Ang properties ng square is that since it is a special parallelogram again, all the five properties of a parallelogram are properties of a square. Also, since a square is a rhombus, tinataglay din niya ang properties ng rhombus. At dahil ang square ay isa ring rectangle, tinataglay din niya lahat ng properties ng rectangle. So, these are the properties of special parallelograms. Kung na may natutunan kayo sa video na ito, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. Hanggang sa muli, ako si Teacher Roan and goodbye!